Hi, everyone. Hang on, let me take these glasses off. There we go. A little less rude. How are we all? Ah, we are in Peaceful Bay. We're just here at the caravan park. Have we got in about half twelve? Yeah, what's the time now? 5.30. So, we took it pretty cruisy this morning. Um, and then got... Now I'm talking, I don't even know what I want to say. Checked in, got to our site. Set up the tent. Uh, yes, I'm running a tent this trip rather than a swag. I'll get into that later. Um, you can have a fire here. Um, through summer. So how good's that? Like, it's just sick. So, we were planning on buying firewood here because they say you can get it from the office there, but they didn't have any. So we went to another place that sells them called Bow Bridge Servo down there. They had them. Not cheap though. I'd recommend bringing your own wood. It wasn't cheap at all. Uh, but, whatever. So we got a couple of bags of Jarrah. Um, Got the fire going, which is nice. It's nice to sit here, middle of February, have a fire going. That's bloody awesome. So for dinner, we're just doing some, just doing some wraps. Just gonna, well, I am frying up some onion. Got some little chicken strips here on the go and. Banging them in a wrap with some tomato and carrot, a bit of spinach. Nice and simple, pretty easy. A bit knackered after the drive, so something easy. But by goodness me, it's nice to cook on fire. Whew. Man, I've been missing it. So this is a treat. Absolutely loving it. Uh, probably not going to film much tonight. Like I said, pretty knackered. So going to just get dinner going. Uh, clean up, get this fire going, and just chill out for the night I think, so we'll probably see you all in the morning. Talk to you then. I haven't got too much planned today. We're going to go and check out uh, Elephant Rock. We're going to head further east uh, down the southwestern highway. Check out Elephant Rock, that area there, that William Bay area. Uh, and that's about all we've got planned. Madfish Bay this one. It's absolutely stunning. You got this big outcrop. Well there's a few outcrops here but this one main particular outcrop and the ocean's coming in from each side and meeting in the middle. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. There's even life. Some shrubs growing out on that on that outcrop out there in the middle.
So this is, specifically this is Elephant Rock. Man, I am absolutely stunned. It is, this is some of the biggest rocky outcrop slash cliff I've seen. Uh, you can tell we're near Albany because there's a lot of a lot of that as well, like with the natural gap there and that. Just incredible, absolutely incredible. The size of this rock is just. And then you can see what's even more stunning is you can see the like swell marks and water water marks where the water actually is. No doubt the swells will get high enough to get up to the top of these. It's just incredible. Absolutely in awe, and it's so calm right now, like it's crystal clear, blue as. So, couldn't have picked a better day to come and see. Absolutely stunning. You can walk from Elephant Rock around this rocky outcrop to Greens Pool. Uh, it's bloody beautiful. It's almost like this rocky outcrop is a beach in itself, like a shoreline for you to sit, throw your towel out, walk in the water. Incredible. Back at camp. Oh, Kelly's on the good oil. The good stuff. Yep. We're uh, just getting some dinner ready. Got the fire going. Sun's starting to hang low up in the sky. It's a slight breeze. I tell you what, this is absolutely beautiful. Ten out of ten. There's a couple of little ducks as well. They keep coming in whenever the food's out. Funny enough. Cheeky little things. So. We are using a bit of gas tonight, I know. It is summer though, and it's easy. Boil down some veggies. But I'm gonna cook the meat on that grill on the fire, so you gotta be proud of me for that. That's gonna be good. And then we'll throw, throw those veggies in a frying pan, just crisp them up a bit, brown them off. So that should be nice. Bit of gravy, happy days. Hmm. It's been a big day today. Did a fair bit of driving, a fair bit of touristy stuff. It was nice, went for a few swims. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful place out there. Absolutely stoked to see all that. So we'll keep going with dinner and we'll see you soon. Dinner is done. Bit of meat, bit of veg. Sitting by the fire. Beautiful, perfect. We're going to smash this, stoke that fire up, and enjoy a quiet night. So we will talk to you all soon, probably tomorrow. And I've got something nice to show you all for tomorrow as well, so stay tuned and we'll see you there. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. See you today? Yeah. All right. Good night from camp. Talk Bye -bye. soon. So we got up pretty early this morning, um, wandered down the beach, we're hoping to try and catch sunrise because 
where we are here the sun rises up on the ocean in the east so it would have been pretty nice pretty special but like typical great southern area there's a whole pile of thick low laying cloud that's come through and it's just completely completely ruined any chance of seeing that sun come up so it's still nice down there though it's really calm nice and flat you can see the water's stunning a couple of fishermen out there so sat and enjoyed that for a moment or two but yeah see if I can't grab a nice sunrise within the next coming few days but I'm not liking my chances because there's supposed to be a bit of weather coming through so oh well, we'll see how we go anyway it was nice down there it's nice to get up nice and early too so I think now we'll go get a coffee on and cook some brekkie how good This is the Irwin Inlet um, and it meets the Southern Ocean just there. And this time of year typically it would be fully closed off as in the water wouldn't be flowing, it wouldn't be meeting the, the ocean but uh, some of you might remember just in the last couple of weeks we had that cyclone up north and that pushed a whole pile of rain down here. I was talking to a couple of old boys just yesterday on the beach and they were saying that the that weekend that that rain came in they had about 80 odd mil so that ended up ended up flooding the inlet pretty much breaking its banks and flooding out the road the peaceful bay road on the way in so the council had to come in and actually dig it out to get it flowing um, so that's how much that's how much rain they got out here and there was properties that were having the dam or having the inlet rise up to the back of their property so it got pretty got pretty dire from what those two fellows were saying and yeah they had to get it flowing from this end to release all the water yeah won't be crossing the beach this time typically you can apparently so would have been nice to have been able to get over and then travel up the inlet a little bit but that's all right it's still really nice to be here and see it flowing to be honest it's, it's quite nice so at this point we'd started heading down Rain Road we jumped onto Rain Road track that takes you down to the beach uh, we got about halfway through and I picked up quite a significant knock or thud I guess you'd call it in the back of Gus um, it was starting to get to the point where we could just no longer ignore it I had done my best to try and diagnose what the problem may have been it's a very sandy track it gets quite tight spots and stopping and starting um, trying to have a look and figure out what it was was starting to get a bit tedious so I did just make the call to um, to stop the track and we turned around 
and I got it back to some flat ground where I could try and get under it and have a bit of a look and see what was going on because it was a noise that was getting pretty bad um, so it's a, it's a total shame we didn't get the rain head um, but I guess it's something that we can do next time we get down there So, there's something that I've never talked about, something that has never been brought up, but I don't own a drone. So, that means to get those bigger shots, I gotta put the extra work in to get high enough to get them, if I can. Oh, so that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> We're walking up. This massive, we just did a huge staircase, now we're walking up this massive yeah. incline to what appears to be another staircase. <laughs> so we can go to this lookout right up here and get this good, this good view. And over here, well, it's already opening up quite nicely. Just, just a smidge of elevation. So, whew, I'm not built for walking. As you can tell, Kelly's left me for dead, she's gone. And uh, it means that I gotta put in a little bit more effort to get a good shot, if I can, when it comes to getting to elevated spots. Cause I don't have a drone. Maybe one day I will. Maybe one day I won't. For now though, it means I'll just Put in the extra hard work when I can. Oh no, now we can go either way. Let's go left first. All right, we'll see you at the top. Oh man, this view. Oh, stop it. I don't know if you saw it or not, but there's a track going through here that's the Bibliman so that track you see it runs through up this ridge line here just behind me GoPro might not pick that up but yeah every little spot where traveling through we're a little bit north now of Peaceful Bay where we're staying the, the Bib Bibliman heads through there as well so this whole way comes all the way down from yelling up there whole way through. Mate, what an absolute treat, eh, to walk through places like this far out. Look at that, it's stunning. We're on this gravel road called Fissifolia, Fissifolia Road. It's between conspicuous cliffs where we just were uh, and Peaceful Bay comes back out on Peaceful Bay Road. For the, those of you that are familiar with the area, you would know that. Um, Fissifolia Road, what's that mean? Of course, it's named after the red flowering gum, uh, the eucalyptus tree. Not, It's not a Mary tree. The Mary does a beautiful red flower like this too, but this is the red flowering gum. So, Fissifolia, and it's only found uh, from around Mount Franklin area, which is a little bit to our north, uh, through, or west, sorry, to our west, uh, down through to just a little past Denmark. There's some isolated 
isolated pockets of Fusfolia down there as well. So beautiful tree, flowers from summer the right right the way through to autumn. This one's probably a bit spent. There's a few few new little flowers on there, but not too many. There's been a lot that have already already come out, juvenated. So, but yeah, beautiful tree, absolutely stunning and obvious reasons this street being named after it it's just littered through here with them so it's absolutely stunning beautiful little bit of thick woodland through here full of eucalypt and, and gum tree absolutely stunning i recommend just taking this drive just if you're in the area just just take the drive just to see it because it's yeah it's a stunning stunning beautiful road a bit corrugated bear that in mind but it's a beautiful road beautiful drive So this is known as the gap down here. We took a sandy four wheel drive track about oh, best of three odd K. Pretty soft in spots. And it comes out at this rugged coastline here. Eh, just more of the same old beautiful coastline. <laughs> So Peaceful Bay, it's a town that was settled late 50s to early 60s, uh, predominantly by farmers from around the Manjimup, uh, Katanning, Kojanup, Cranbrook, those farmers out in those areas. Uh, it was their go-to place for uh, a holiday uh, and a fishing destination so it was it was originally started and settled by all those farmers from out there um, and a lot of the a lot of the property here is actually still owned by them or uh, given down through the generations after them so that's where that's where Peaceful Bay started Flag Hill Lookout. Apparently there's a lookout up here, so we'll go have a gander. And this is nice, walking through a nice big thick little patch of peppermint trees. Oh wow. Jeez, that's nice, isn't it? We're not actually even that elevated here, but it's just enough 
to be able to see out over all this green vegetation. Absolutely stunning. Wow. You can really see that we <laughs> are kind of really out in the middle of nowhere out here. It's, I mean, not really, but yeah, it's got that feeling about it. So Peaceful Bay being built late 50s to mid 60s odd by those farmers from around that Manjimup, Kojanup area, Katanning. Um, there was four, four streets basically and they were all, all those houses, they're all full-blown traditional 1960s style beach shacks. They're all built out of timber and cladding and jarrah, weatherboard. That was the original settlement out here. And then eventually there was some more houses built, predominantly along Ram Road, I think, uh, brick and tile. Um, it's all up, I think there's about 160 odd lots out here in Peaceful Bay, but it is still, especially when you get up here, you can just see how minimalist and how utterly stunningly peaceful this place really is like it's just got that real minimalist uh do nothing vibe real lazy relaxed it's yeah it's an absolute treat stunning place so we haven't really been and done much around Peaceful Bay before, which is why we just decided to come straight here to the caravan park, um, just so we could soak up this area for a good week or so. Because we've come through, we've driven through and stopped quickly, but not really had a chance to really soak it up. Back at camp, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've gone and got dinner from Peaceful Bay office. They got a little shop in there, and a, they got a kitchen as well. You can get fish and chips and hamburgers and stuff. So we're eating out tonight. What do you reckon so far? Pretty good. Looks alright. Yeah. I'm about to open mine. I got the hamburger and chips. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's dig in, eh? Mm -hmm. I think this should be pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a crazy night, eh? Mm. So they said there was a bit of a front coming in. Bremer Bay and Esperance and that, or more Esperance I think, is getting absolutely, well they got hammered last night, or yesterday afternoon, evening, last night, and we got the tail end of it, so we've had a bit of, had about 60 odd K winds, with 70 odd K gusts, 70 to 75 K gusts, and a whole pile of rain, oh man, what a night, didn't sleep much, it was soggy this morning, it's still windy as hell, we put the awning and everything away, because didn't want to deal with a wet awning or it blowing away so in the middle of the night. Crazy night. Gotta love it down here. The weather will just do whatever it wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of thunder. There we go. It's all coming in. Never know what to expect down here. No. It's a beautiful, beautiful clear day yesterday. Like perfect, sunny. Yeah. We look at the radar, a big front's coming through, and then we wake up and it's like middle of winter. It's crazy. So, it's what you get down here. Just got to be prepared. How's your coffee? Pretty 
pretty good thing. Yeah, it's good. It's because <laughs> I made it. <laughs> so we can just bunker down in here for the morning until we get up and get going and do something and stay away from that wind while it's hanging around in the rain. Today has been a complete write-off, an utter complete write-off. From about 1am that front came through and it's just been howling, it's been about 60k winds to 70k gusts, a little bit more at times, it's just been relentless the entire day. So we've only just now been able to get out of the tent pretty much, apart from going for a bit of a drive just down to the beach, onto the sand, just check out the water. We um, we haven't, haven't done anything except just sit in the tent or lay in the tent really all afternoon. So finally out now. It's calming down a bit now. I think by by last light it should be down to about 30 odd k wind, and then slowly just getting quite calmer and calmer from there. So yeah, a bit of a lazy day. Nothing got filmed. Nothing to report. Just gonna do a really simple dinner. Doing some hot dogs tonight. Snags in a bun, so that'll be good. And then, yeah, hopefully by the time we're ready to go to bed, that wind will have pissed right off and it'll be a nice calm night. I wasn't going to film any breakfast this morning, but I think I, I think I actually will because it's going to be tasty as hell. So I've kind of already started, but that's alright. We can we can just kick in from from here. What I've done, I've got some red onion, cut some red onion up straight into the pan. I'm cooking on the fire as usual. Throwing some red onion on the pan. Here's Kelly from the shower. I've thrown some red onion onto the pan, bit of oil, bit of brown sugar in there or raw sugar, just to caramelize a little bit. Got some fresh tomato here. We've got an avocado in there and we've got some bagels. We're gonna to toast the bagels up on the fire, put some avocado on there, throw the tomato on, bit of onion, bit of pepper, cracked pepper. Mmm, amazing. <laughs> pack up. The end of the trip has come. Now we've got to pull down camp and get on the road. I'm a bit sad. It's been a good trip. But all good things have to come to an end, don't they?
One thing that I am absolutely in awe of down here around these parts is how pristine the beaches are. Well, everywhere, the whole area in general. It, in the sense that it's just so clean and tidy. There's not one speck of rubbish. There's not any mess. There's no, even corrugations are, are minimal. You know, like it's just such a well-preserved, respected, looked after area. And it, and it just goes to show that it, like, it is possible to look after a place. Keep it clean. Um, drive sensibly. Do the right thing. Like it can happen. It is happening down here. Like places don't have to get trashed. They don't have to get spoiled. They don't have to have rubbish left behind everywhere. You know, it can happen. It, has, it actually is possible. And this is living proof of it. And that's something to me that is so incredibly special. And I hope it stays that way because it's absolutely pristine. It's just beautiful. So we're packed up now. We're just down here to put our feet back in the water one last time before we hit the road for a good five hours or so and head home. Back on the blacktop. And what a morning to be leaving, eh? It's a bit of a shame. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful down here. Slight offshore wind. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. So this is where we're going to leave you now, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave a comment there. Throw a like for me. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, get down here. It's stunning. Beautiful. you got to come down and see it if you haven't already. And uh, from us now, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. Hey, Ruth.